Gibberish games like Mad Gabs can be a really fun way to get to know your friends, your family, your coworkers. They can also be a really great way to teach concepts like communication skills or listening skills. So if you've ever wanted to use this type of game in an event, a party, a gathering, I've got a couple of great templates that I want to share with you. The first one is a fully built game that includes 50 puzzles so you can play it multiple times. But if you want to actually create your own, you want to use your own puzzles, maybe you have a certain theme that you want to do, then I also have a do-it-yourself version that is basically just kind of the shell, but it has, um, it has the animations and everything built in, and then all you have to do is fill in the puzzles. So I'm going to show you first what the game looks like. I'll show you how it's played, and then I will show you how you can customize. And of course, you can customize both of them. So what I when I show you that, it's going to apply either way. All right, so here I am in the game, in the actual uh, PowerPoint. So you can see what it looks like. You can see the name of the game here, Say What. Uh, you can see the object here on the title slide pretty much tells you what you're trying to do. So you're going to get a gibberish phrase like this, canoe, key, pass, egret, and you're trying to guess, can you keep a secret? So that's the object of the game. Now, as far as the way you set it up, that's really up to you. You can have teams go against each other or maybe have each team take a turn with each new uh, phrase. You can have individuals come up and try. It really is up to you, however you want to do it. And when you're ready to play, you're simply going to go to slideshow and I'll hit from current slide. So I'll have my title slide up. And then when I'm ready, I'll just advance the slide and then this is how all of the puzzle slides are gonna be set up. You've got a blank balloon, you've got a start timer button, you've got a reveal answer button, and then you've got 20 seconds that will count down. So when we're ready, you know, when the team is ready to guess or the individual is ready to guess, I'm gonna click on start timer. There's the phrase, and then you're gonna see this countdown happening. So they have 20 seconds to guess. Now, if they guess before 20 seconds, that's fine. The timer's gonna still keep going, but you can always click on reveal answer. So first I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't reveal the answer yet. So you're gonna get a little bell sound. It's gonna say time's up. They have to have an answer. And then you can reveal the answer and see whether or not they got it right. Um, or if you're doing something like where you're going to give the other team the chance to steal, you might wait until they answer and then reveal. But anyway, that's how that works. Then you're just going to go to the next slide. And now we have a new puzzle. Now, this time I'll just show you what happens. Let's say they get this right away. They get this after five seconds. Not a problem. I can still click reveal answer. It'll show whether they got it right or not. And then um, the timer will keep going, but I can always just advance. If I click, see, it's gonna advance to the next slide. Now, if we look at the do-it-yourself version, you're gonna see it's set up the very same way. It's got the same title slide. It's got the same setup as far as the phrase balloon and the answer balloon, except you now have to do all the work. Like you, if you have puzzles, specific puzzles that you want to add in, then that's what you're going to do with the do it yourself. All you have to do is highlight this part, enter phrase, and then you can start typing. Okay. This is a really hard one. <laughs> then you can go over and enter answer. I love you. There you go. And that's what you'll do. Now I've given you 10 blank slides, but if you need more, not a problem. You're just going to right click and duplicate. And then that'll bring everything onto the next slide. Of course, if you have the full version and you want to make changes to it, you certainly can. It's the same thing. You just would highlight and type over that text for the phrase, for the um, answer. So you can do that here too. You can duplicate slides, add more slides. So this one is also fully customizable. 
All right, so now the only thing left to do is to get the template. And to do that, it's very simple. You're just going to go to the description below, grab the version that is right for you. And while you're there, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know how you plan to use the game. Let me know if you liked the game, if you had fun with it, um, you know, once you've gotten a chance to play. And if you found this helpful, I always appreciate a like. Thanks for watching and have fun.